everybody. Welcome to this Click Platform tutorial on how to create connections and use them in your Deluge code. So what are connections? Click Connections is an interface which enables Click users to connect to third-party services easily. Simply put, if you're looking to create an extension which integrates with an online application like Google Drive, Dropbox, then you'll have to create a connection. This allows you to access these applications with authentication. So how do connections work? Connections take care of the entire authorization process required to integrate with another service. It supports three types of authentication, basic, OAuth1 and OAuth2 as well. The connection established to a third party service will be called via the invoke URL function. An invoke URL function in Deluge will make a request to a URL and get a response. Using the connection name in this function will make an authenticated request to the URL. So there are two types of connections. Connections with existing services will be listed under the pick your service option and connections with a custom service will be listed under the custom service option. In this video, we'll take you to the following. We'll be seeing how to create a connection with an existing service and with the custom service as well. We'll also be looking at how to use the invoke URL function generated on creating a connection in our deluge code. All right, so let's get started. So first up, we'll see how to create the connection. To create a connection, click on the integrations option in the top bar of your click home page. Over here, you can find the Manage Connections option at the bottom of the page. Just clicking on it will take you to the All Connections area where you can see the list of connections you would have created till now. To add a new connection, click on the Add Connection option in the top right corner. This will take you to the Create Connections page with two main categories, Pick Your Service and the Custom Service category. Now, Zoho already provides a list of third-party services with which an integration is already available. These services will be listed under the Pick Your Service category. Select a service of your choice. I am selecting the Twitter service here. So, once you click on it, this will take you to the Create Connection page for Twitter. Give your connection name. And make sure you have enabled the use credentials of login user option. Enabling this option means that the integration will work based on each user's credentials. And disabling the option will ensure that the integration takes place only with the connection owner's credentials. So once that is done, click on create and connect to create the connection. As you can see, this will generate an invoke URL task with the connection link name which can be used in our deluge code. Now let's try to use this invoke URL function for connecting Twitter in our deluge code. We'll create a Twitter command to post tweets directly to our Twitter account right from our chat window. To create a command, click on the create command option in the command section of the integrations page. So I've named my command Twitter and given a hint description and image as well. Once you're satisfied with all these configurations, go on and click save and edit code. This will take you to the deluge editor where you can start writing your command execution handler. Now we've already added the invoke URL function in the command execution code and we've also configured the command execution code as well. So let's save the code and try executing it in the debug chat window. All right, just type slash Twitter and type in trying this command for the first time. The first time of execution will show a prompt to authenticate the connection. Click on allow access and authorize this application to access your Twitter information. So just given your Twitter credentials, that is your username and password 
and click on authorize app. Now let's see if the tweet has been made. Checking the Twitter handle and there it is. So we have made a post from click to Twitter all right within our chat window. All right, so moving on to the second part of the video, we'll see how to create a custom service connection with any third party application. So if you don't find a service you're looking to integrate, you can always create a custom service connection. But please do note that you would have to register with the third party service as an API consumer by yourself. So let's try creating a custom connection with Rike, a project management software. Rike helps in project planning and management. But before getting into creating the custom connection, it is important to create an application in Rike's developer console. In Rike's developer console, select the API apps category and create a new app. Give your application name. Let me call this application, click extension and click on create new. Let's give a description to the application. Click integration with Rike it is. The client ID and client secret have been generated instantly. Another important point here is the redirect URI. All the responses will be redirected to this particular URI. The redirect URI for click is deluge.zoho.com slash deluge auth slash callback. Once that is done, save your application by clicking save. We can get started with our custom connection now. In the create connections page, click on the custom service category and select the create your own option. In the service details section, you will have to give the details of the service you want to integrate with. Our service of interest here is right. Select the authentication type as OAuth2 from the drop-down since Rike uses the OAuth2 protocol for authorization. Give the client ID and client secret obtained in Rike. The authorized URL, the access token URL and the refresh token URL will be available in Rike's API documentation. So let's head over there to get more information. In Rike's API documentation, Select the OAuth2 authorization option from the left hand side menu. The authorized URL is given under the requesting authorization code heading. Copy this and paste it in the authorized URL section in the connection page. The access token and the refresh token URL can be found under the exchanging authorization code for access token. We'll copy that and paste that in our connection page as well. Once that is done, move on to the connection details section. Give your connection name. Let's define some scopes for our connection. A scope defines exactly how your application needs to access Rike's data. Each API method will have a separate set of scopes defined. The tasks module in Rike, for example, has three scopes defined. Let's consider the default scope for this particular connection. Enable or disable the use credentials of the login user option. Click on create and connect. This will create a connection with Rike and generate the invoke URL task. So using the invoke URL task in a deluge code is equally simple. We'll take this situation where you would like to access tasks assigned to you in Rike right from click. So how about creating a simple slash command that performs this action for you? Create the command by giving a command name, description, image and all the other necessary configurations. Save your command and move on to the deluge editor. Write your command execution code and use the invoke URL task generated on creating the custom connection. Write your command code and save it. Execute the command in the debug chat window present right next to the deluge editor. Executing the command for the first time will show an authentication prompt. Again, click on allow access. This will take you to Rike's login page. Enter your username and password and click login. We can see that we have the list of tasks fetched from Rike. And that's how easy it is to build integrations using connections on the Click platform. 